starting, 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 starting now. What's going on, ballers and ballets? Wu Tang Baller here, and I got something just a little different for you. It's some squad deathmatch that I actually played today. I spent probably about two hours online today just playing, doing different stuff. I mostly end up playing with the F2000 silenced. Um, here you're going to see just some clips of what I was actually able to do, and I'm actually going to walk you right through that. So there you just saw kind of like a fast-forwarded version of what happened in the game before. And here we've got some sniper gameplay on Goldmund Railway squad, uh, yeah, squad deathmatch. And I go on a 14 win win streak with randoms, which is... I've never done it. I don't know if anybody else has ever done it. Um, I basically, I'm able to level up to the next level while playing with these guys and basically get in the same spot as I was the level before. So, yeah, it was really, really different. It was something that I did not expect to be able to do. They all, We all stayed in the same squad. We all stayed in the same match. Uh, one or two of them did leave at some point, but there was always someone else that would join and they were fairly good so to me that's rare I don't know why it just is uh, some of the shots you'll see like that one right there the L96A1 I think it's my second most used sniper rifle and here we go with the F2000 gameplay and I, I do believe it goes kind of back and forth you will also notice that I pick up a lot of my squad mates just me trying to PTFO and, and help out my squad basically because it's squad deathmatch so you want to revive as many of your squad as possible and I want to come to a spot here where I actually end up reviving one of my teammates and I don't throw a med pack down now if you I'm sure this has happened to all of us you get revived they run off you die obviously because hey here only at 20 health all he gave you was just a little ch -ch -ch and you're back up that's about it and that's not that's not good you know if you're in a firefight if you're in close quarters with the enemy you want somebody to revive you as much as possible and then throw down that med pack and that's extremely helpful you'll see me do that a lot I also get some really lucky kills on Goldman with the F2000 and the, G and the G18s. I don't use the G18s because it has a lot of kick and I do actually kit switch some just to try and keep going because I don't want to end up, you know, seeing if one of my squad mates can spawn in as support, which I don't think any of them ever did. Oh wait, somebody did right there. But, it, you know, it happens. People don't really pay attention. They don't know what your ammo count is, you know, you gotta tell them, hey, I need ammo. Half the time you tell somebody, you need ammo, they're not listening. They're running away. So, yeah. It's really, really difficult for me to get into a good squad deathmatch. I don't know why. It To me, it's just, it's beyond my, my, my realm of thinking. So, yeah, is, we I go on a 14 win win streak and I'm gonna try and get the screenshot of the of like all my reports wins and losses and unfortunately at the end we do end up losing one game but you know one loss for 14 wins I'll take that win loss ratio any day you know so yeah it was uh it was really difficult sometimes it was just a total whiff I couldn't get going um, you know, I, I just couldn't, I couldn't pick it up. You know, I, I couldn't do anything with it at that point. It was, there were, I had a couple games, like maybe three games that I was, I was positive, but I didn't have any more than 10 kills ish. And that's pushing it. I feel really bad at that point because I really didn't do much for my squad. That's how I feel. Um, you know, it's just, sometimes you have those moments. And uh, right here on op, clusterfuck, as I like to say, uh, I get the game, the game ending grenade shot, take it, boom, in the face, 
Charlie wins again. And I believe that we're mostly Charlie for this game, or for this the, the 14 games. Now, obviously, this isn't going to showcase all the games because that hour and a half, hour and 45 minute gameplay, I reduced to 20 minutes, and I don't even think I'm going to be able to talk through all of it, but I'm going to try. <laughs> um, some of the kills I got were just random luck, like dumb luck. I looked this way, and hey, there was a guy. Some of them were extremely lucky. I would consider the F2000 and the ACWR to be one of the better guns in the games, and I also like the FAMAS a lot. That has been kind of like my go-to weapon here lately is the FAMAS. If I can't get anything going, I'll jump on that. I'll get my rhythm going, and then I'll, I'll swap back to something else. Um, and I, I don't know why that helps. It does. It, that's just me. You know, you got to find out what works for you. Don't worry about, don't, you know, don't ask anybody, oh, does this work for you? Yeah, it might work for them. But you don't know. You don't know what's going to work for you, so all you got to do is jump in game and try it. You know, uh, it's nothing difficult. It's nothing really, really hard to do. And one of the things that irks me in this game is, like, let's say you know somebody's going to be around in that corner, maybe possibly reviving somebody. And I, I'm going to show you this just because it kind of really makes me mad. Um, you, you see here, we're, we're pretty much locking down this corner of this building. And I'm kind of going, I go back and forth. And right, I'm not sure where it's at. I don't think it's right here. No, I'm just getting ammo. But the next time I come back over here, the guy I just killed, right there, onslaught. I hear the I hear the the chink of him being revived. So I throw a grenade. I shoot, throw a grenade, and he kills me. And you see my grenade go over there, but it doesn't go off. That is one thing I hope that Dice is looking at at this point because it's driving me crazy. I mean, you know, it and it's kind of like those. You don't die instantaneously. You're being shot and you throw the grenade and it just doesn't go off. And to me, that really pisses me off because that's me pulling that pin, throwing that grenade, and then dying. So technically, that should have already been in the server. But, you know, hey, to each his own, however they want to deal with it. That is just one thing that I hope they deal with. And... You know, they say that CTE servers, they've got some good good qualities and some of the bad qualities. Um, the one thing that I'm mostly excited for is the, the, the timer for the revive. You know, I don't want to run over to somebody and run out as soon as I get there. You know, I, and then I'm stuck in the open. I'm, I'm foobar, you know. So, yeah. Uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt to have that happen. Especially if it's in heavily, you know, enemy enforced area and you you need reinforcements. So you need to pick that guy back up. And that happens a lot. Here you'll see me turn around and, and know where certain people are. And that's only because of my tritons. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of a sound whore, unfortunately. Um, but it is a tactic and it works. And, you know, sometimes that's how it goes, you know. And it's kind of... It's kind of nice to have that, if you know what I mean. That you can hear things off in the distance, and because of the headphones that you have, you know exactly what's going on. Like earlier, I was playing on op clusterfuck, and I looked back, nobody was there. I turned around, and then I heard the the metal detector go off. So I turned back around, and I got the guy, which I thought was kind of crazy, because. Had I not heard that, I probably wouldn't have turned around, and I probably wouldn't have—I probably would have been killed right there. That—that that would have been the end of that clip, you know, me dying. But instead, I turned back around, turned on the dude, and got him. And like I said, you'll see some clips here. Fast forward and not. Basically, I—I I, I just can't get going. You know, it's like I spawn in and I'll get a kill and then I'll die, and I spawn in and get a kill and then I'll die. Uh, for the most part, I'm greater than average. Not greater than average. 
my KD is above 1 0. You know, on here on uh, Flood Zone, I decided to take out the AW160 and put a little four time scope on it. Now, that was, that was my bad, bad idea <laughs> because that thing has a lot of. Of, of kick upwards and sideward, sideways 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 yep sideways screw it yellow um, but yeah you'll see I do get some of the final kill cams and I do fairly good on some of the maps but you have to watch each other and you have to watch each other's backs here I don't know how I got this kill because you see it pops up and I got him so I don't know how I got that kill but it was pretty crazy uh, you see right there, I went seven and four. I, I couldn't even believe I went that horrible. I felt really bad for my team, but I, I did pick them up. I did do my thing. I did throw down med packs. That's the thing is that if you spawn in on somebody and you your assault or your what, what am I looking for? What word? Not recon. Not engineer. Good gosh. Well, I can't think of it right now on the top of my brain. I'm sitting here watching the, the gameplay. It's going to drive me crazy now. <laughs> but, it, you know, if you spawn in and you're that, and you're that, you know, throw down a med pack. Throw down a ammo. You know, throw down something. Help your team. That's what you're supposed to do. It's team squad deathmatch. So you're supposed to be there to help out your team and get stuff done. That's why you see me running around reviving people like crazy. And uh, yeah, so we went on a 14 win streak. Pretty much, I'd say about four of the five slots stayed the same same people. And I get some crazy like spawn in, kill, game ender looking things. No, oh, game ender looking things game ending kills right after I revive somebody like that <laughs> and uh, you know we, we did play against some good people there were a couple other 100s in there I know that the guys I'm playing with are colonel like 120s and stuff like that a couple of them were, were 100s but all in all you know it, you have to pay attention to what you're doing. See, I went 17 and 5 right there. So, it uh, it's just, you have to be aggressively aware. If that makes any sense. That's what you have to be. Because you can't just run around like a crazy mofo and expect to win. You have to be assertive about what you're doing. You have to know what you're doing. And you have to do the smart thing now like I said I'm on most of the guns that I will be using in this video I have a silencer on and you may be asking why well squad deathmatch is kind of uh, you kind of need it you know there's 12 other people more than that on the server and you're playing right along with them so you want to be as quiet as possible, as good as possible. You know, you want to make sure that you're able to do your job. If nobody's running medic, go medic. If nobody's support, ha, support. If nobody's running support, I figured it out. If nobody's running support, oh, God help me. Run support. You know, drop ammo. Drop everything that your team needs. You know, do your part. And... I run into a lot of people that just don't know what they're doing and to me that drives me crazy I, I understand noobs I understand the people that want to go out and make montages and the people that want to go out and make you know just some ridiculous stuff um, and right there you'll see I got a double revive and I wasn't able to throw down my med pack until they were all gone so it kind of stinks that way because they can just get up and get hit by a straight bullet. <laughs> I mean, it's happened to me before. So yeah, pay it. Be okay. My my biggest thing is you have to be aggressive, but you have to be 
aggressively aware of your surroundings. You know, if a guy, if one of you guys just got shot on the other side of a wall, then you need to pay attention to that. You need to try and figure out where that enemy is. But you need to push because he will probably be reloading. You might be able to catch him in the middle of a reload. And you might be able to just take it to him at that point because he's reloading. Now, I've been caught in that situation before and it kind of sucks. However, that's life. That happens a lot. You also see that 17 and 4. That's, that's a game that I got started on. You know, that's where I was able to do my thing. That's where I was able to do what I wanted with my squad. And when I say aggressive, I don't mean like balls to the walls, just don't care. No, you just need to be smart about it. I think that's the that's the best thing that you can take away from this video is that you need to understand your situational awareness and you need to be aggressive about it. So you see right there is I, I realized that I was the last man in my squad. So what did I do? I ran and I hid and I threw down an, uh, a med pack because I wanted to be able to react fast enough to if need be turn around and kill somebody and have the health to do to have a, a, a gun battle with them now right there I actually accidentally skipped a um, an ending screenshot of what happened I think that was a game that my Elgato just decided to just and not record that part it was really weird I went back and forth between the certain, you know, the the differences in the games, and I, I I can't I can't tell you what the difference was. It's like it skipped that whole ending section. So yeah, it really stinks when it does that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, we do actually end up losing. We don't lose very bad. Um, it's not horrible. We lose like maybe by eight or something and pretty much when you're playing squad deathmatch you know your squad can be the best squad out there you know you can have guys go you know 15 and 0 and whatever but what really matters is the other squads because if the other squads are getting into a fight and you're not being aggressive enough as we weren't in this last game you know you'll see me I push but we weren't that aggressive in this game at all. It was kind of ridiculous. Um, we, I, I think we were playing it safe. And unfortunately, right there I get worked. I was hoping to get all five of those guys right there. But unfortunately, it did not work that way. So, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I had a crap ton of fun playing with these guys. And, you know, I, I added several of them to my list my friends list and hopefully I'll be able to play with these guys again because I had a ball doing this and squad deathmatch for me it's a it's a love hate kind of thing I think because you can have those squads that can just completely wreck because they can talk to each other I couldn't talk to these guys at all like I could only you know spot people and I can only do my part as much as I could. Now, it's just, you know, it, it, it's really aggravating sometimes because I can't talk to my squad or I can't talk to the guys on my team through my Tritons. They have to be on my friends list and I have to have an, an, an ear plug in. So, yeah, it's a little frustrating. Like I said, we lost right there. I went 14 and 8. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Also, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. And uh, I hope you guys had a, had a good July 4th at least. Peace.